Okay guys, very, very different video from me today. Um, yeah, this just has to get done. And this is the time in my day that I have to do it. I slapped on my makeup real quick today, so I might have the time to finish this project. And uh, yeah, I've just it compiled such a mess on top of this whole L-shaped desk that I sit at to do videos and do my makeup in the morning. It's like, it's ridiculous. On one hand, I do kind of know where everything is. Is anybody else a messy person who's like, yeah, but I know exactly what's under those three levels of palettes right there. Like, there's that happening. But on the other hand, I absolutely despise it and I know I need to do something about it. And not to make any excuses about it, but uh, no, actually, I'm gonna make some excuses about it right now. Um, when I get done shooting videos in the morning, normally that time frame that I have butts right up to the girls waking up in the morning. So like I shoot as long as I possibly can or I'm swatching or I'm doing something pertaining to a video, like sucking every moment I have out of my morning working time. And then I shut my lights off, turn my camera off, put my battery on the charger and I am done. And what it usually leaves is kind of a mess. Like sometimes I put a few things away here and there, but there's a lot of just piling up. And then on top of that, I find I'm getting PR stuff and things to try like hand over fist all the time here and I'm not complaining about that. It's a good problem to have when you're doing what I'm doing and you want to be trying a lot of things. But if you don't take the time to kind of organize as that stuff comes in, it can just like bury you. And so I decided I would be vulnerable today. I feel kind of funny about it, um, but I'm gonna put my Brene Brown pants on and be vulnerable. Granted, it's not on a real deep level. This is just my mess that I'm being vulnerable about today, but I'm gonna, you know, show you what's going on and I'm gonna try to find some method to get this cleaned up. Oh, but furthermore, what's the solution, like the long-term solution to keep the desk from getting this way again? I would say it would be to find at least some point in the day, like now that they're kind of um, having coordinating nap times, like get up here and clean up that day's mess, which shouldn't be a long task, but if I can't get it done in the morning hours, just, you know, straighten up a little bit at some point later in the day, just to ensure that I can have a fresh start for the next day, you know, and not build mess on top of mess. Does that make sense? But I've got brushes, I've got lip stuff, I've got new stuff, old stuff. It's just, whew, it's a mess. Okay, I think I'm gonna get started with this thought. If it's a lip product, it belongs on the other side of the room in my drawers. So I'm just gonna grab a Ziploc bag and get everything going in there and then I can, you know, move over there and get it all organized. Because as you know, it's a little tough to get around with my broken foot situation. <laughs> I strategize about everything these days. Like how many trips is that gonna take? Is it really worth it to stand up right now? <laughs> Here's an example of like what I do sometimes when PR stuff comes in, like this was a bunch of L'Oreal, like matte lip colors and lip liners and products there, that's something stuck to it. But it's like, when is it time to file this away? Well, I feel like I've kind of gone through this stuff, used it, um, will continue to use it, and I want to get it back into my storage. So I'm going to put anything related back into this bag, anything L'Oreal, and then when we move from cleanup to organization mode, I will put that away over there. How about empty boxes? Just general trash, you know? Get rid of that. Another really awesome PR thing that I'm trying to work through now are these NARS Precision Lip Liners. Just a bunch of lip pencils, but it's like every color of the rainbow. Nice little compact container there. I am gonna keep this out and handy so I can be going through those because it's a lot to work through. Just for a closer look here, as you can see, we've got brushes and various things all kind of piling up here. Brushes come over here. This is my main brush storage. Eye brushes go there. And then even more recently, I've been using a lot of those Tarte brushes from the holiday set and then putting just like everyday quick use brushes in there, which I don't think is totally necessary. Got some Too Faced, some Bare Minerals, some mini sizes. There's a blush, lipsticks, lip balms. This is kind of like the divide and conquer method of organizing. You just got to make it like a small task first.
The baby wipes for swatch removal. It's one of the only things that won't like give me a rash on my hand. And this is my pouch where I keep my memory cards and my external hard drive because one time I lost a memory card because I was just kind of carrying it around loosely, you know, to take it from upstairs to downstairs where I edit. And um, I realized if I put it in something big, I'm less likely to lose it. So I keep it in this little pouch. This is actually from Sonia Kashuk, a little double-sided pouch. Highly recommend that method. In this bag, I was doing a video on um, lip toppers and stuff, and so I remember I had just like thrown all of the various lip toppers I was considering into this. So here's another lip bag that needs to go elsewhere. Anybody else fall into the, oh, that's a cute box, I should keep it. No, I'm not gonna use it for anything, it needs to go. <laughs> Another lip product. Here's the lip products I've accumulated so far. Palettes, I've got that Whoosh Beauty palette there and I've got um, a drawer down low for like larger face type palettes. This Anastasia Glow Kit can go down there too. Um, Definitely have a place for my Lorat Pro Contour. Oh, my mom was curious about stuff from number seven, so I need to pass that along to her. Then I find this happening. Here's a product I absolutely hated, this Hydrating Gel Mist from e.l.f., but it's like I'm probably gonna save that for some kind of most hated products video, so it's just kind of chilling out here, but it needs to go somewhere. These are all of my clean beauty blenders that I washed recently, so those I need to keep handy somewhere. I think I'll sit them over here for now. This is a beauty blender that I want to use soon that I forgot about because it was covered up. Some MAC um, micellar water wipes. I want to use these some more. I've only used them a couple times. This J-Cat eyeshadow palette. There's another one of those bad products. It needs to go somewhere else. This is my NYX lip color remover. Something like this I always need to keep handy because when I'm going between different lip colors for lip swatches, it definitely helps to use something like this for the liquid lipsticks to help get them removed. Actually, Urban Decay has come out with like a stick one that works really, really well. There's like random hairs on here. several of these little e.l.f. lip palettes that I need to try, and this basket was actually set aside with products that I'm meaning to test out, and I did that somewhat recently. There's the in info on all those NARS lip liners. Maybe I can condense and stick those in there. Put these e.l.f. lip palettes in there too. A little notepad. This secret sauce moisturizer. Might give this to mom to use. She um, said she was needing a new moisturizer. These eye stencils, totally forgot about those. I've got a little um, area for palettes and things about this size, so I'll sit that right there so I'll see it. Got my Just Peachy palette, my Cara palette that I really liked from my I Kate House haul. Um, Lorac Pro Palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Chip, those all need to go back that away. A few shadow singles to put away here. A few eye products. Here's a little shadow quad that I want to use, so I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, that's that kind of blushy contour product from Burberry. I'll put that with my bronzers. Elf Blush Duo, love that. This Sweetie Pie thing I kind of decided was gonna act more as a blush than a bronzer for me, so that can go down with blushes too. I think you'll see more of my actual collection when I go through and continue the declutter videos. This is kind of a cream bronzer from Too Faced. This is my Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. That needs to go back downstairs because I wanna continue using that. So I'll come in here with um, some cleaner a little later and go over the surface of this table, but this is basically what, you know, what I expect this part to be like. Here's my end of my table right here, and when I turn around kind of this direction to shoot videos, I now have the surface area to really lay things out and just use this as a flat surface if I need to. But now the task shifts back over here because I have a whole other half of the table that's loaded with stuff. Got a lot of situations where there are foundations 
that I've been using and they need to go over on the opposite side of the room because I've got a drawer specifically for a foundation. So I've got the couple of shades of the Peach Perfect that I've had out here way too long and they need to get back in that drawer. Not that I'm not going to use them once they're in there, but I've tried them, I've reviewed them. They don't need to be like a top priority desk item right now. My e.l.f. foundation is another one that's been sitting out, this little Makeup Forever sample. Um, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines, I'm going to stick that back in this basket where I had it before. Those are like new things that are kind of on deck to possibly review. Um, this LA Girl Pro Coverage needs to go back in my drawer. The Armani Power Fabric. Gosh, I can't believe how many I've had out here. My YSL All Hours. This NARS stick. Really been enjoying this lately. I've decided more is more with this foundation. Like, I actually like using a little more product. Um, I used it a bit too sparingly at first. Wasn't impressed. Used a little extra, which is very rare with foundation sticks for me, and I'm loving it. But I want to kind of keep that front burner so I'm going to put it there. Um, this is a little basket where I had some of my favorites and they can now um, go somewhere else. Although I do want to keep my gingerbread man handy because and that's just cute too so I'll put it kind of on display out over here. Shape tape in the concealer drawer. This NARS liquid blush has a place down here. Last call for foundations. Do we have any other? Yep we got one more hiding here. Oh this was the one I meant to give to mom too. Put that in the give to mom pile. Also this found BB cream and a few other IT Cosmetics things, some Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, the Bye Bye Redness, that stuff is all like about to be talked about a little bit more, so I don't want to forget about it. Here's my found illuminating blush that I love. Essence Pure Nude Highlight, we all know where that goes. Um, this little guy, I meant to mention this is a dud, but ended up doing my Best in Beauty video full face, so I'll just tell you now, this Essence Eye and Face Palette here in Rise and Shine. Not too impressive. I don't know if anybody was like really holding their breath on that one anyway, but it was just kind of like blah. I have a little area where I've kept these puffs out of different loose powders and anytime Belle's up here messing around, she grabs those out. Make It Last Setting Spray can go back here. Lip product, lip product, lip, 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 lip. Sponges that need to be cleaned right over here. Obnoxiously sized powders that are hard to store. Anybody else having that issue? I know it just looks like I'm moving clutter from one side of the desk to the other, but this is going somewhere immediately, I promise. <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, now I'm collecting different eye products, eyeliners. Oh, there's another lip. Concealer. Eyelash glue. That's kind of right up there in constant necessity with the lip remover. This eye brush. Really bad sponges. I think the key to quick cleanup is just having some place to go with it, even if you're not like going thing by thing and like, oh, this needs to go into my red lip drawer, but just like having a bag sort of collect it before it goes to its final destination. This is a little Makeup Forever blush combo. You can make your own blush palettes. I do want to talk about that. That's going to go in the to do box. little samples here. I really want to try the Beauty Blender Cleanser Liquid. I will sit that by my Dirty Beauty Blenders. This double-ended brush needs to be cleaned. It's going to go back in there in my needs to be cleaned brush area. Trash. you do with that broken blush that you just haven't fixed yet? It's gonna stay there. Another obnoxious powder, but I love it. Liquid highlight. I've been sitting my mirror on this giant thing of Clinique Moisture Surge. There's another set of lashes that I don't want to lose. Some things just have to be kind of random. I need to clean that mirror, I know that. Got to clean a lot of things. It's gonna be a major uh, dusting event happening here soon. This is how I achieve beautiful hair looks like this for my videos. Didn't use any of that today, but I'm going to put it where it can be handy. Guys, there's a personalized nameplate offer and Caboodle's product registration that came with my Caboodle. Okay, here's a moment of honesty where I have to ask myself, am I really going to do this? Is it free? No, it's $2.50. I kind of want to do that. And now that I'm organized, maybe I won't forget. I'm going to put that on my little notepad here.
This was sent to me in my P.O. box. It said, somebody needs to wash my brushes. I love this. I'm not sure whether to drink my morning coffee out of it or to use it as brush storage. I'm hitting a bit of a moisturizer roadblock here. I've got several like really great moisturizers and I need, I think I could, oh, I see. I could have a secret moisturizer compartment here for the ones that I'm not like using super constantly like this elf. See, that's no problem to grab that from back there. That's okay. I actually got this little thing where I can store excess or just extra pairs of false lashes. I'm gonna keep it out so I don't forget that I did this. 729 and everybody's still asleep. Okay, that keeps them safe. That keeps them dust free. Little thing of travel brushes. Not sure where to go with that immediately. This goes in my travel bag. This is for when I come up here right away and I'm like, oh, I need to put deodorant on. So I've got a little overflow drawer where I think I'm gonna need to go with some of these loose powders that are, well, I do kinda wanna use this velvetizer. I'm gonna put that in the to use pile. The Peach Perfect needs to stay handy because I use that a lot. Some of these pressed powders and the Born This Way, um, gosh, I do love this bronzer too. But some of these others are gonna go down into a little overflow drawer that I've got. And it's very easily accessible, so when I wanna get in there and use some of that, I can. And right over here, so here I got a Kleenex box. But what I normally do is I take this big brush thing when it's not in use, and that can be tucked back behind. This little bucket can come out over here, giving me some more surface area. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's an oldie but a goodie. Okay, guys, so do you see the amount of surface area I actually have here when I just straighten up a little bit? And some of this, I think, is even going to go down more because as I work through that tub, that's going to decrease. Um, I clean those sponges. I got some little brushes back behind and that little light tray lurking back there that I, um, you know, need to clean. So I don't know, guys. If you like this, I can do more of this kind of thing. There will no doubt be more messes, and there are other messes even throughout this room that I can <laughs> do this with. Um, of course, the decluttering is what I can do now now because I have no excuse not to declutter since I have all this space to lay out my products, right? Gotta register my caboodle and get that nameplate. But if this was completely boring, I apologize. Thank you so much for watching anyway if you're at this point in the video. Thank you and I will talk to you later. Bye!